Hello everybody, Retro Beard here. It's Tuesday afternoon, it's almost 5pm GMT UK time. Um, I hope you've all had a fantastic day and been a good week so far. Um, probably at the start, I want to say if you enjoy my content, please want to like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell, leave me a comment. It's much appreciated um, and it really helps get the channel out there and, and help to grow it a little bit. So thank you very much for all your support so far if you've been doing that. Um, with all that lot said, let's get started. Um, so, we've had a bit of a mixed bag on the old um, emulation front of things and tweaking and improving. Well, it will, we'll have another look at the, um, what should we look at? While we're seeing who's coming on board, we'll have a quick go on the master system and see if that needs any love. Master System California Games. I think we're due to look at the Spectrum today as well. Let's have a look. Does this... Wow, to eight players. And I don't need a name. Yes. That's a pixelated mess, so let's go out and sort that out. Let's get a scan, a bit of scan line on it. Um, what am I doing? That. Oh, it's another hot day. I'm feeling it. All of this fit, fur and beard does not match the heat. But I can take it. Oh, yes. Let's see if this looks better. It's looking good so far. My name is Nothing. My name is Gladiator. Oh yes, look at that. It won't help my um, ability of playing it. Which buttons do I need? Nothing seems to be happening. Which is the button for speed? Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Back when you don't know the controls, isn't it? It's been a turn of it. I don't know. It looks good, but it plays like garbage. Or is it me who's playing like garbage? May as well start, because I can't seem to find the controls. It used to be if you held it, you'd go faster. Don't get that. That was a pile of stinky crap. Book bag. Let's see if this is a bit more intuitive. Okay. Oh, not the seagull. Well. Don't know what the hell I'm doing. I used to be quite decent at this on the Mega Drive. Now I'm bloody awful yet in any version. At least I've got the game looking better. Doesn't do much for my um, playing skills at the game. Hopefully I can find an event that doesn't drive me insane. It just brings home how much patience I had as a child where I'd get, I actually take the time and effort to get good at crap like this. Because now I wouldn't be bothered about getting good at this. Good to see that um, not all retro gaming is um, good. Some of it's crap. What's this? In fact, a lot of it's crap. Surfing. Maybe surfing will be good. I always used to feel crap. Where have I gone? <laughs> Okay, I'm not a surfer. Okay, I'm going the right way, that's a star. Or not. I won't give up the day job. Wish I could. Okay, he just goes that way. 
Okay, I've improved how this game looks, but I hate it, so I'm going to turn it off. I don't have the patience. Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Give that a go. Let's have a drink. It is hot, hot, hot. I've got a glass full of ice cubes and spring water, sparkling spring water and lemon juice. Okay, that's a load of pixelated filth. Let's sort it out. At least the scan lines work on this, unlike the Mega Drive, that's infuriating. Let's see, oh that is nice and cleaned up. I don't want to read. I never realised video games help us with our reading. Oh my, let me in! Thank you very much, sir! Oh crap. Oh, that is death, is it? Okay, you can duck. Okay, we're getting there. Up there then. Yay! Up there then. Oh, I need to sleep now. He's like Mario. I can't see myself. Oh, I hate it when you can't see yourself. What's that about? Real hardware never did that. Does Mickey have any combat skills? Oh crap 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 crap. How do I beat this guy? Seems like Mickey's bloody helpless in this game. I'm up to my life. Okay, I've got this far. Or well, it's not very far. How do you do that then? How do you do, sir? I don't know how to play this game, it's bloody annoying me now. Oh! Oh crap! Okay, he's not a defenseless dweeb. Oh, is that it? How did I lift it? I want to destroy it! I want a fatality. Or not. At least I've learned that I can have dealt with that clown a bit better. This game before it gives me a nervous breakdown. Once again, the patience of a child. I do not have any more. Golden axe. No, I'm not that much um, self-loathing. What about Sonic?
Oh god, let's get a, let's get the filter on that. That looks bloody awful. The joy of low res games at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Advanced game options. Smooth games off. Shaders. Scan line. Give me some scan lines, baby. Give me some scan lines. Let's try and make this game not look like crap. That's a lot better, isn't it? Let's have a look. You know what? For an 8-bit game, this was a flipping beautiful port. Sega's 8-bit platform had its own unique Sonic game that was not just a port of the 16-bit, and I think, although this is lackluster now, back in the day it was a tree, and I was a master system owner, and I just, I just loved having my own version of Sonic that wasn't just a scaled down poor man's version of, of Mega Drive people because although we had a Mega Drive in the family home and I, got, I had you know good access to it I still really respected how nice this looked and played and it was a unique adventure it wasn't simply um, you know poor man's Sonic and it was crap what am I doing it was as good graphics, arguably, as a low letter, some 16-bit games. Some. The weaker ones. I think that's my favourite thing with bull crap, with old hardware. When the best games on old, old hardware look as good as the sort of worst games on new hardware. Also, although I don't, I don't get a lot of pleasure out of the Master System today, um, I really, really enjoyed it in its heyday. And games like this, you know, unique games where you can get the experience really nowhere else, crap. Oh, that's where I'm due to be. But yeah, you, um, I've noticed Sonic on the Master System is more like, what the friggin' hell am I smoking? It's more like, um, a traditional platform game than running around at a thousand miles per hour like on the Mega Drive. It's about alien. Yeah. The dying I've just been doing, it's not the game, it's me, I suck. I might talk about things, but I far from, um, I'm the expert. That's a shame. What the hell? Funny how bits of this game are quite, um, cruel compared to the 16-bit one. At least he was flashing. I can't get the hang of these moving bridges very well. Stay, stay, stay. There we go. Gotta get some coins. This looks and plays okay. I think if someone had a quick glance, they'd mistake it for this. Oh, bloody hell, man. God. Slippery mechanics. I'm done with this one. As much as I respect it, I'm too slow to play it. It's infuriating when you, you know, you used to be good at some games and you're not anymore. And I'm not going to get good again. That's not the Master System's fault or any other console's fault. It's not really my fault either. It's just, it's life. I don't have all day to play a game to get good at it anymore. And to be honest, it's not really how I'd like to spend that time. Um, I love gaming. Um, I'm more so I'm a nostalgic gamer who enjoys the sort of feel and flavour and memories of gaming than actually sitting down and spending hours doing it now. It's just the way I roll. It's probably one of the arguments as to why I should part with part of my collection because I don't actually use it much. And the value of my collection is probably quadrupled, so... One could argue that I should make a bit of money from it, but 
I'm not ready to take that step yet. I'm worried I'll regret it and not be not be able to afford to buy it again if it's a mistake. If that makes any sense. I don't I don't think I could part with Suikoden one and two and all well all my Suikoden games. I don't that looks awful. I don't think I could part with them. I think it'd keep them just as an ornament. It's probably being honest about 20, 30 games I could not part with no matter what. Gemfire, definitely not. I've got to get a few copies of games that I parted with that I regretted as well because I've got I've got like um, Japanese versions of like like, like my um, my game ground got Japanese copy of it and everything but I'd like to buy a British boxed copy okay I just want to play the game please man How do you get off this? Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, like game ground, I need to buy a copy of that and um I think it's about 40, 50 pounds, so it's not unobtainable. Shining Force 1 and 2, I so regret selling my my power box copies of that like an absolute idiot. Um, but I don't think I can afford them in the foreseeable future because they're going for crazy money now. Hi, Fets Frequency, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Who the hell am I? On blue. Oh, this game is ugly. Sprite flicker is an ugly thing. Poor man's rock and roll racing. Out of the way, yellow. We were all yellow. I probably would have enjoyed this game back in the day. But this is not the day. I'm glad I'm so selective with games. It means I won't buy too many more. I would like to get a load more PlayStation 3 JRPGs, though. A load more 3DS games. I love the 3DS. Why do I have such a look for the 3DS? Although my favourite handheld of all time is the DS Lite. Welcome to the parts shop. God. She's annoying. Just get me to the race then. Yes, I'm sure. Get me to the race, you sod. Get me to the party. I suppose the um, upgrading element is nice. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, almost like role playing persistent element to the game. Definitely poor man's um, rock and roll racing. You got rock and roll racing. He had no soul. That's what this game would be. My car is so slow. They're right up my arse. Oh, there's no time for yaying. I'm still very fragile. Give me the money. No, or not. I probably would have absolutely enjoyed this game. In the two, if the two-player mode means you're in the same race together, that would have been awesome. So I bet that's what it is. The Master System definitely has some good two-player games. I think I've seen this cartridge go in for like a fiver. I'll grab it. A fiver is um, a UK term for five pounds, which is our version of dollars. So our currency. We call it a fiver. A ten pounds is a tenner. And then we don't say anything else. We don't say a twenty -er or a fifteen -er or a fifty. -er. We just fiver or tenner. There you go. More UK slang. The mother tongue. The original English.
Third. Third the turd. What crap can I buy from the shop? Welcome to the pad shop. How may I help you? I'm here. You can help me. Yes, I want a new engine. Yes. Upgrades. Mine. It's moin. Give me some nitros, baby. Give me some CTRG. Don't know what the hell a CTRG is, but I'll take it. I'm after the big money. I don't know how to use my toys. Come on. I've got the suckiest car in the game. It's my fault for so much I have to go through. Ugh. Na, 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 na. Born to be one. Oh. Oh, that's annoying. I'm the only dweeb who hasn't got any powers. I just buy them, I don't seem to get them. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to catch anyone up now, am I? I need the Mario 64 mechanic for the uh, Mario Kart 64, where it made everybody catch everyone up. Nope, I'm going to be in sucky last place. That's the way I like it, huh? Hey, I got some dollar at least. I'm not going to get any prizes for the race. This is humiliating. What did I get? A punch in the face is my prize. Oh, am I in the... Not enough money. Not enough money. Well, kiss my ass then. Yeah, but how do I use it? I don't understand. Oh, I see. I have to equip it. What a dumbass. Oh, let's get this again. I can't believe I'm still playing this. I must be sad. To equip your minds. Hey, that worked. I blew up some competition. Yeah, man. I like how they're catching up. When I do it, there's no catching up. Come on out of the way, Greeny. The mean, mean green machine, brother. Why am I talking like this for? I sound. Oh, ah. You're having a laugh. You're taking the Michael. Somehow, with two minds, he still manages to lose, because he sucks. By the way, Red, if I wish I had a mine, I'd blow your ass off. And that sounded better in my head. Come on. Come on. I need some upgrades. I've got the sucky car. The only problem is upgrades. If you start losing consistently and earning less, they're only going to get more and more ahead of you, so you're not going to ever catch up. One could argue that losing should give you a better prize, so you, the, 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 the inferior player, gets more power-ups. And I know in real life that wouldn't work, but I mean if... Um, if you somehow got a prestige for winning, but people who um, lost, you, you know what I mean, because it's not real life, it's a game. If someone's better than you, the gulf is only going to widen, isn't it? Yeah, I ain't buying crap. What about nitros, so my suckiness can help? Give me some nitros, baby. Oh, I can have them. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know. Can't believe I'm playing this junk. 
one more race unless I do really well and it keeps me in the mood. I want to like this game so badly. Have you ever seen a trailer for a game and, and got all the hype and you've really looked forward to it and then you finally get it and you don't like it, it doesn't live up to it and you just wanted to like the game so badly and it breaks your heart because you just, and I don't mean this game by the way, I'm just making general conversation and you just want to like it, you want to be part of the hype, you want to be part of the action, but you just don't relate to it. I was like that with Kingdom Hearts when it first came out. I watched the trailers and I was like, oh my god, this looks so good. And I just couldn't, when I finally got it on my PlayStation 2 back in the day, I just couldn't get into it. And I said, I'm play Kingdom Hearts now and I, I like it to a degree. I've never gone too far in it, but it broke my heart. And I've done that with a few games. I just wanted to be part of it all. This game is different, I've never heard of this game. And I will never play this again unless there's a request. By some some naughty person. The worst thing ever though, isn't it, when you, you um want to love a game, you want to put out you know every part of it. Let's get out of this game, this game's like brain damage material. California games, kiss my ass. Captain Silver, no, Casino. Past of Illusion, go to hell. Um, Cheese, Cat Armstrong, no, no, no. Is there any more good games on the, the crappy system? I mean, the mass system. Cyborg, Z or Z. Daffy Duck, no chance. Pro. Pigu Wang, Dane and the Jungle Fighter, Dead Angle, Deep Duck Trouble, Desert Speed Trap, Desert Strike, that must be a scaled down port, Double Dragon, oh god stay away Double Dragon, I like it two player but one player it does my flipping head in, Dragon Crystal, I think that was a pretty decent RPG but I don't think this is the place for that, Duke Nukem 3D, I'm morbidly curious. I'll have a drink. That's good. Tech toy. Oh, it's one of those Brazilian um, homemade games. The Brazilians love their math system. You see, poverty breeds innovation. Oh god. Expectations low. Oh my god, they actually had it running in a ray tracing 3D engine. Let's get the scanline filter on. Oh my god. Brazilians, I apologize. Why did Dark not tell me about this? You could do ray casting on a master system? What's next? Without a 3D chip? You know, if there was a 3D chip or some sort of FX chip in the car, yeah, but this is a master system. I bet it looks glorious on a real CRT. It probably plays like crap. The fact they've got a ray casting engine with a facsimile of Duke Nukem running, I am in awe. Even if it's crap. Look at this. Why did no one tell me? I've seen worse looking games on the Mega Drive and SNES. Look at it, it seems to have a solid FPS. Is nobody amazed? Let's give it a go. Oh, 
Oh, they're not help. Oh, God. I need flipping help with the way I play these games. There is no one who can help me. Piece of cake. Yeah, it's because I suck. Entering spaceport. Wow, a master system game with a, with ray casting. Okay, I'm in a room. Oh, I'm getting very dizzy. You're in a room, what do you do? How do I open doors? Oh, look at that map. It's really off point. Can we get rid of it somehow? Thank you. Let's see if it scales up. It even scales up. Sprite scaling. Stay still, I'm trying to admire your pixels. Combat sucks. I wish I could share this moment with someone. Save options as well. It actually had a a battery backup on board the cartridge as well. Oh. Go away, map. This can't be right. How can this be running on the mass system later? At least Dark was here and asking some questions about it. It's got a proper scale sprites. When they push hardware like this, it makes me wonder why it wasn't more done back in the day. Look at that, proper scale sprites. I want to go close and see how he stands in scrutiny. Stay still, you slippery eel. Yeah, look, it scales properly. So they had a ray casting and sprite scaling engine on a master system. Oh my god. I know it's not full screen, it's in a window, but still, that is incredible. My mind is blown. I need to sleep. Wish I had a gun though. I'd celebrate even more if I had a firearm. Yeah, baby. We put your left foot. I will fight you with the power of my boot and the oh no, and I'll die. Well, this game is ruthless. Which is the start button on this piece of... No loading. Wow, that's the easiest skill level. Look at that. Let's see how it scales the sprites on the wall. Yeah, it's proper sprite scaling. Wow. This is probably the most technically proficient game on the master system. Look at it. Stay still. I want to shoot you. I wish there was a crosshair on the game. You pixelated son of a machine gun. Who is my daddy? Thank god they can't open doors or we'd have a real problem hands. Well, I'm going to leave this game because I've got no one to share the magic of it with. I respect that game. It seems to be running at a solid FPS. I might even tag that as one of my favourites. Or not. Dynamite Duke. That's not quite the same. Dynamite Ducks. Dynamite... Oh, excuse me, my doorbell. Just give me shorts. I'll put some trousers on to be respectful. Sorry about that. Do my belt up because I was in my shorts, you see, but I like to answer the door in my trousers because I like to be... I like to attempt a facsimile of being respectable. Dynamite heady, I don't think so. 
I'm all platformed out. What's this crap? EI Earthworm Gym. Wow, that looks scaled down. Echo, no echo. Enduro Racer. I love that game. Oh, there's two. Let's see if it's a Spanish one for me to delete. I'll treat myself. Push start button. Oh, no, look at that. That looks wrong. We need some scanline filters on, dude. Okay, why are we still here? Take me out of the game. Take me out of the game. Take me out of the game. Because it's really annoying. Come on. Smooth games off. Because you're clearly not working. Shaders. Scanline. Take two, dude. Oh, it's getting hot, hot, hot. Oh. oh, yes, look at that. That's how it should look. Okay, wrong button. Here we go. I love the music in this game. Du -du 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 -du. It sounds nothing like du -du 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 -du, but you know what I mean. I like how you race the cars and they're like jumping and stuff. What a great game. Do, 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 do. This is one of my favourite Mass System games. I know that probably sounds really sad. But when, when I say one of my favourites, I hardly ever play it. I'm not good at it. It's not like I'm playing it all the time and I'm really class at it. I'm not. It's just one of my favourites for a quick couple of minutes. Once every six months. That, that type of favourite. So I don't want to get anyone's hopes up thinking I'm good. I'm not good at many games really. Only a few. And even what I'd call good is comparative. Oh crap, where am I going? Comparative, you know, from being bloody terrible to passable type standard difference. Makes you wonder why I game stream. I stream games really if I suck at games. That was painful. I'm invisible. Oh, I thought I was invisible then. I need to talk to Dark sometime about it. The flashing. Oh man, I fell short. Story of my life. This will not stand. Let's do some more. Maybe one day I can finish a level on this game. Do. Don't know why I love this game so much. I think it's a purely nostalgic thing that takes me back to a simpler time at my friend's house playing Master System games. Crap, where am I going now? I didn't do that back in the day though. I used to finish the levels. I wouldn't mind getting my map, getting a map, my mass system out, hooking up to my CRT, putting in my cart, and seeing if I play better on an input lag like, three situation, and see how terrible I've gotten versus how much I'm struggling on inferior equipment. I need to buy a second CRT soon. Oh bloody hell! So I want to um, always make sure I've got a CRT. I, don't, I, I only like the 14-inch models. I don't need a family-sized one, or what we call, you know. Just a small CRT. Don't, it's the 14-inch models don't take up much room. And the graphics look beautiful on that relatively small screen. And I can... Oh, no, I'm not going to have one more race. One more race. I'm going to indulge. The PlayStation is an absolute delight on a CRT, how it looks, how it feels. I'm getting myself in a mood now. Oh, bloody hell. Why is it not steering to the right? Oh, we go. It wasn't steering then. That's my controller getting low on batteries. But isn't this game great? It's just simple arcade fun. To stay shame the um, POW and um, NTCSC port lost, lost content. I must get the Japanese version for the content. Oh, come on, pick up the get speed, you piece of crap. You're a scrambler, and that's grass, you should be fine. That's it. Oh. I'm invisible. That's something else. Weird, the steering that's going on in this. It isn't steering correctly. It doesn't like going right. I wonder what that is. Is it me? Is it the controller? Is it the input lag? Yeah. I'm gonna stick to playing it on my other TV. See, my flat screen is a um, 
a Samsung curved and it's got when you put it in game mode the input lag is minuscule so when I play my systems on it oh sorry I can delete this one good when I put my systems on it it's although it's not as responsive as a CRT it's fairly low latency and I also use my um, retro tink 2x so I get about as low latency as you're gonna get on modern tech these days Whenever I buy a new TV, you know, a new modern TV, I always base it on several factors. And low input lag and, you know, and a good screen refresh is always part of the mix. The Samsung screens are probably the best for gaming on, um, retro gaming on. And I, and I checked my one out. Mine's got very small um, input lag. I'm not, I think it's so small, it's possibly not perceptible. Hi Laura, I mean, no, you're Obi-Wan, aren't you? Hi Obi-Wan, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. I've not added any games yet, but I have been deleting and tweaking and sorting things out. i made quite good progress. I'm going to probably add some games at the weekend, add a few of my PlayStation favourites. This don't look bad. Plays like crap though. Whoa! What the hell am I doing? What's punch? I didn't. That didn't give me much of a um, chance to learn the game, did it? I just got battered. Which is fight. That one. Wow. Bloody hell, endless waves of the SOBs. Wanna fight? I'm a one man army. And this is why Sega couldn't beat Nintendo. They were pumping out crap like this. Yeah, let's just move on. <sighs> it's a wee bit hot. I know that much. Marble Madness, in God Pass. I've not got a light, but Master of Darkness, so that poor man's Castlevania. Oh, there's two. No, Master of Combat, okay. Oh no, there's two. Let's see if one's a Spanish game I can delete. Let's... Hello, Andy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. What the hell am I looking at? Let's put some some filters on. I was piddling around on the master system. Would you like me to put some spectrum on? I don't mind. Spectrum's amusing. PlayStation 4. Don't spend too much on it, it's, a, it's an obsolete games console. And it won't be retro, because PlayStation 5 plays all the PlayStation 4 games with better, better performance. I hope you got it all cheap, because you just bought an obsolete system. I'll have a quick go on this, then we'll go on the Spectrum, and get some real gaming. Thames River, I bet this is the perfect representation of Great Britain. What the hell? I've got a knife. Yeah, I've got a knife. That's not a knife, this is mate. This Castlevania for people who um are on the doll. Yes, I've got a nice pole now. Dracula. And Dracula. Where are the masks? That boat rose itself. Oh, stop trolling me, you SO. God, what the? Screw you, I'm going to Spectrum. I hate these games. Do you know what streaming has done? It's removed, it's removed my rose tinted spectacles of retro games. 
maybe realise that 75% of them are a pile of scheming crap. Let's find some Spectrum games. What did I used to play when I was a lad? Can't even remember it's been so long. Well, it's good that you got the PS4 free. For free, that's good. And I suppose you can always um, put them onto a PS5 when you get one. So I suppose that's good. Oh, have I been, um, have I picked a stupid time to stream? I'm ignorant, aren't I, Andy? I, I never know what's going on. I don't really pay attention to modern gaming stuff. I'm an old, demented fart. No. What a spectrum game. Man Manic Miner. Um, I could never get the controls on Manic Miner working. What are those to play? Viking Raiders, Manic Miner, Stonkers. What about Stonkers? I like a good Stonker. Stonkers, for anybody who doesn't know, is the world's first RTS game. And he gets none of the credit for it. It's very rudimentary, but it was. Oh. Oh, is that why people have started turning up? I'm ignorant. I'm so ignorant, but, you know. I'll just see if Stonkers is on, then we'll have a look for Nifty Ifty. I've never heard of that one. Where are you, Stonkers? If Stonkers isn't on here, I'm going to have a, a tantrum. Smash TV was on the Spectrum. I bet that was an abomination. Oh, it looks pretty good. Let's, let's check that out quickly. I couldn't imagine Smash TV running on the Spectrum. Ugh. <sighs> Too hot, man. Oh wow, that looks like crap. Let's go to two. Ugh. Oh wow, yeah. Go for it. Oh wow, this is a this is um shite. It's Smash TV. It's arcade perfect, baby. Yeah, I'm fighting the compact discs. Wow, Die TV. It's quite colourful for a specky game. The sound effects are amazing. Give me the dollar. Wow, that was a bit of sprite scale. Look at the sprite scaling. Give me some weapons. I want to feel them. Give me the gold. Gold, gold. You've got the power to know you're indestructible. Thank you, little red balls, for killing me. What the hell am I singing? I'm getting out of here. Let me out. Chase HQ or Target Renegade. What more can you suggest? Are you impressed with this game? Meet Mr. Shrapnel. That's what all the girls used to call me. That sounds really bad, actually. I take that one back. I didn't say that. Oh, that's why they call it. Oh, God, here comes the seaman. If I was an orphan, my name would be Seaman King. You will not impregnate me. Never! Yeah, this is a full showcase of the Spectrum's hardware. Game over. I know it was doing so well. Superb high score. The who's here? I want another go. Where's the two-player mode? Look at that. It captures the full feeling of the arcade. It's actually quite playable. It's hard, though. It's bloody hard. Oh, and the analog stick doesn't work on my controller. I like my green trousers. If this had a two-player mode, this would have been an absolute must-have on the Spectrum, to be honest. Flippin' heck. I told you the Spectrum had a good CPU, better than that Commodore 64 CPU ever had. I don't feel like I missed out on the Spectrum. Nothing on the Commodore impressed me yesterday. Just did my flippin' head in. Yeah, look at this power! 
unlimited power! Sorry, I was getting excited then. Ugh, these guys are cretins. Game over. Well, screw you, I'm out. So what are we doing? Stonkers. And then we're doing some other games that you guys said. Stonkers, stonkers. No. The answer's no. I haven't. Nor do I intend to. I did at one stage, but then I came to my senses, thank God. Space Crusade, as in Warhammer 40k. Oh my God. Warhammer 40k was on the spectrum. I could move my unit to Blood Angels to battle. I love the Warhammer 40,000 um, fiction. Anyway, Space Harrier. What, there's two sp oh, Space Harrier 1 and 2. Let's check it out. Check it out, dudes. Select joystick, sir. J. J. Where are you, J? What the hell's happening now? Um, I'll have number three, please, Bob. Select and press enter. Start game S. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready! Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. What the hell am I playing? Now I've only got a passing interest in these microcomputers. I don't have any urge to recreate them or buy one or pretend I'm on one. They're just for a quick blast and then switch off and never think about. There's just better things to be playing than this. Look at I mean look at it. When you've got PlayStation 1, 2, 3, Mega Drive. Match system, NES, um, Game Boy, Game Gear, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, um, DS, 3DS, um, Match System, I've already said that, PC Engine, Turbo Graphics, Wii, Xbox One X. I don't really feel the, any urge to play this. In my free time, but anyway. This is just like the most inferior port. In fact, it's F bloody annoying. It's the most inferior ports of games. So if I've got a nostalgic itch to scratch, I can always put this on for five minutes and be reminded why I moved on. Maybe Space Harrier 2 pushed the hardware. Like, press fire. I'm pressing fire! Wine tape to end and turn it over. What the? This game ain't gonna work. I know I'm a miserable old sod, but you know, that's just how I feel about it. A new Zelda game? For the Switch? What, Breath of the Wild 2? I've never even played Breath of the Wild 1 yet. I might buy the Wii U version when I upgrade to a Wii U. I thought that might get my um, Wii games in HD then. Let's try this game. I'm getting distracted by pretty things. Space Racer. Am I controlling this? Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell? Is it a first person perspective game? God, it's just too fast. Oh, man. The sprite scaling is beautiful. I'll get off this piece of crap. That was one of them £1.99 pocket money games that you used to buy. Space Raiders. Poor man's man. I was looking for stonkers originally. I'm getting a stonker. Space War. Space War. Space War. Space Warrior. Space Wreck. Yeah, I won't be buying it. I never buy games off Nintendo. 
I buy, I buy, I sometimes buy them second hand or off eBay, but I won't, I won't actually give Nintendo a penny directly anymore. School days, yes. The original school simulator. Please, sir, I cannot tell a lie. Spider Man. I don't like Spider Man to me. Spitting images. There were some crap ideas, weren't there? Sport of Kings. Oh, God. Spy Hunter. Spy v Spy. Spy Trek. Spy Trek. Oh. SSTV. St. Dragon. I wonder how many of these games were actual proper games that were classics, or how many just crap they bolted on. Yeah, I was raised with a bit of school days. I might put it on actually. Star Wars. What? Star Wars, you like we like wireframe graphics, don't we? Du, 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 du. Please, um, Williams, don't copyright claim me. I know I'm playing Star Wars. May the Force be with you. Come on. Broken copy, kid. Da 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 da. The control system is with you always, boo. This is Zulu. This was actually a fairly valiant port of the original that we used to play. Um, because like I've said before many times, the Spectrum had a pretty beefy CPU for its time, so it handled the wireframe calculations better than its Commodore 64 and Amstrad CPC rivals did. As you will see, young Pie Walker. Can't see it! Okay, let's do it. Yes, I will get a copyright claim, but I'm a man's man. I don't want to lose all those big earnings I'm making. I know it sounds pathetic, but this, these, this sort of graphics used to make me um, very happy back in the day. Luke, you've got company! Ooh. The wireframe graphics are with you. I don't remember this much intercepting in the films. I remember the Empire Strikes Back being better. I might have to try that next. I got one! <whistles> Shoot the TIE Fighters. There's the Death Star. Look at it. Death Star approaching in five minutes. So it's quite a um, decent port, isn't it? Albeit the whole thing's aged. I'm going into the Death Star. <gasps> wow, look at these graphics. I'm in the trench. I can't. Yep, there's no character anymore, no individuality. It's boring. That's the only thing I'll give the Switch. At least the Switch is proper custom hardware. Whereas the um, Xbox and Playstations are just the same old PC in a box. Yawn. Okay, let's try the other Star Wars game. I miss the days of custom hardware when you had to dissect what you were actually getting. Droids. I remember that cartoon. In trouble again. Return of the Jedi. Wow, that looks just like Luke. Luke after a terrible accident. Luke, the color clashes with you, my son. Ben? Obi-Wan? 
Oh, wow, it's just like the arcade, man. And I suck on it just like the arcade. Hold on, Leia. I'm going to crash into that tree again and again and again. It's like Enduro Racer all over again. Sounds like me. No. The specy is for nostalgia, but it's not for relevance. trees so much easier in the films I like having a modern console but I also like having my newer consoles the old, 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 old. I don't remember to be honest I was just talking crap I imagine I would have done um, I tell you what I have been getting more enjoyment from recently steam on my laptop steam is one hell of a gaming platform the front end is as good as any games consoles front end you pay nothing to use it, unlike consoles, the ecosystem and the servers, is all free. The games, the same ones you get on the console, are cheaper on the Steam. I'm actually uh, becoming a bit of a Steam convert. The only, the only thing that costs, you know, a bit more is perhaps hardware, but the actual software side of it is cheaper. No subscriptions, it's got voice chat on it. Yeah, I'm a bit of a, uh, oh, screw this. I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a Steam convert. I've been building up a nice collection of Warhammer games on it. Moral of the story: You can't go back to a game 20, 30 years later and expect to be as good as you used to be. If you don't have the patience to get back in shape, it won't happen unless you're very talented. No, no single air joystick. This is an abomination. Let's try three. I don't like paying. I, I don't have a lot of money, so, oh my god. So I've got to get the right choice. What is this? Is that something like the crappy Atari? Is that the shield around the Death Star? Many Botham spies died to bring me these crap graphics. That Death Star is fired at us! Engage those Star Destroyers! God, this totally captures the Star Wars magic. This must be a J.J. Um, Abrahams version, or that other idiot who made that terrible um, Last Jedi film. Oh my god, The Last Jedi was the crappiest Star Wars film. I remember I was in the cinema and I've been so looking forward to it, The Last Jedi. And then... The opening space battle when there's a your mama jokes being made and I thought, oh my god, they're doing your mama jokes in Star Wars. Star Wars is dead. Yes, it does. Trap. Fly through. No, I'm leaving this game. It's awful. It's like Atari. It sucks. The Empire Strikes Back. This was what I used to play. Used to have bits of dialogue and stuff come up. My dad got us the Star Wars collection and we had three the three games on one, you know, pack. Mm. Okay, I only wanted to progress the menu. What have we done? What's happened? I'll try and do a reboot. This one, the one game I remember enjoying, and it, it don't bloody work. I really enjoyed Rogue One. I really enjoyed Rogue One. If they were all of the quality of Rogue One, I would have been a happy man. And the first of the new trilogy, I thought was okay. It was a bit unoriginal, but it had potential. And then when I watched The Last Jedi, my like, I had like a breakdown. It was like, oh my god. And everybody on the internet was defending it with like counterclaims of you being a sexist and thisist and thisism. And it's like, no, I can just like not like a film without being some kind of sicko. I think it's a pathetic world when people defend things by by accusing you of stuff. And then what they'll do is nobody will dare talk anymore and everybody will just be frightened of each other because um, if you can be destroyed for having an opinion. 
Yeah, and they go, oh, it was original. It was it was it original? It was kind of a stupid poor man's Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, me too. I I love that. Rogue One was an epic film. It was my favourite of all the new ones. Easily. All they had to do was do it the quality of Rogue One for all the other films, and I would have been a happy man, because the truth is, Star Wars now needs fan service, whether people like it or not. And that's why The Mandalorian did so well, because the season two finale was fan service, and I was like absolutely blown away at the sequel, the, the, the season finale of the second season of Mandalorian. I love The Mandalorian. Because we want fan service, whether we, whether we realise it or not. It's not. It's not a dirty word. It's like, if you love something and you've got nostalgia, well, rewarding that nostalgia shouldn't be something to be frightened of. Street Fighter. I bet this is good. Look at shows like Rebels and um, Clone Car Clone Wars cartoons and all that. They're all fan service, really, and the best ones. And these modern people who accuse you of everything, they're probably not even real Star Wars fans. They probably just like to... Oh, God, what's this? They probably just like to put their nose in. But we're the ones who have bought the films and supported it and gone to the cinema for decades. Without us, they wouldn't have it. We don't want Luke Skywalker to be a washed-up old drunkard. We want him to be Luke Skywalker. You don't know what The Mandalorian is? Wow. I don't mean that in a patronising way. The Mandalorian is a TV series of Star Wars that came out a few years ago. And it's a live... Oh, God. The live action... Excuse me. It's a live action TV series. And it's set just after Return of the Jedi in the aftermath of it all. And it's about a Mandalorian... A Mandalorian um, bounty hunter. Um, and it goes from there. And I won't say any more, because, bloody hell, because I've almost given it away, obviously. But it's really good, and, it, and it's like Wild West. It's a bit like the Wild West. It's really good. You'd like The Mandalorian. Well, I wouldn't say you'd like I would assume you'd like it. It's so good. It's like these episodes that look, lead on to a bigger story. And it's like, the, it's, like the, it's, like, it's like a cowboy TV series, but in Star Wars... Watch it, give it a chance, because it builds up slowly, and I think you'll love it. It's got awesome music, and action, and heroes, some old faces, some new faces. Sinclair too. You don't know what Mandalorian is? Are you, are you, have you not seen all the extra Star Wars stuff? A Mandalorian is the um, type of person that Boba Fett and Jango Fett are. Those bounty hunters who wear armour and they've got like gadgets and stuff. They're a special warrior race, a bit like the samurai or something. And so they're like um, a race of humans who live on a special planet called Mandalore. And that's where they come from. And they're like elite warriors. And they used to have, they had a war in the past against the Jedi and they lost, obviously. Yeah, like Boba Fett, but, it's, but he's, he's one of millions. There's millions of them. They all wear special armour and have all the gadgets and they're the ultimate humans at fighting who don't have the force so they don't have the force but they're about as tough as a human can get you know without the force and they're a culture in their own right i'm a bit shocked that you don't know that i would recommend it practice they couldn't spell practice right Oh, look at the time. I'm going to go, actually. It's been nice nice talking to you, Andy, and everybody else who I've spoken to. I didn't realise it got on so late. I'll be um, back tomorrow, usual time. Uh, it's been awesome talking to you. Thanks, everyone who's been watching and everyone who will watch later. Uh, if you enjoy my... Yeah, well, you'd like The Mandalorian. Give it a chance. You can find it on Netflix. And other streaming services may get it eventually, but Netflix is the... No, not Netflix. Disney Plus. I apologise. Not Netflix. Disney Plus. Go for a 30-day free trial of Disney Plus. Watch all The Mandalorian. Then then cancel it. And you'll be fine. Um, that's what I did. 
so anyway um i'm gonna go now to um in fact anyone who enjoys my content um if you can please like subscribe share click notification bell leave me a comment it makes a massive difference and it's um, much appreciated. To my knowledge, it's only on Disney, but you can get a free trial when you sign up for 30 days. So what you do is you watch it and you binge watch it with all your family an episode a night, and you'll be done. And then and th there's only two seasons, and season three is not going to be out probably till next year. So you can just watch it for that and binge watch. And who knows? Your, your wife might get a taste for it, and she might say, "Let's keep it," and then level all the all the Marvel as well. But if not, just do your 30-day trial. But I'm going to go now, so um, what am I having for tea? Um, I can't remember. Maybe chicken burgers and chips or something. Tomorrow is the roast lamb dinner, so. Yes, I'm ready for it as well. My missus does the cooking. I do the breakfast. That's our arrangement, because I cook like crap. But even I can do breakfast. So, um... I'm gonna go now anyway, because I'm late, like an idiot. So this is Retro Beard signing off. Bye for now. I hope to see you all tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Remember Andy, Disney Plus 30-day free trial, Mandalorian. Enjoy.